All right, so this is a video, basically just a, ran a bunch of random Marvel characters as Spider-Man, pretty self-explanatory. So let's get to it with the first minifigure. We're gonna go from right to left. And we're gonna, so that means we're starting with the Green Goblin as Spider-Man. First up, we're going to take a green, these um, green arrow legs. We're gonna, and we're also going to add the Doc Ock mech, Doc Ock, to add some tech since it's Norman Osborn Green Goblin still. He still has the same access as tech, he's just Spider Man and good. Then we're going to take, uh, you can take any random headpiece. I'm choosing to do this just to give him like a serious look. Um, yeah, um, hang on. Let me just attach it. And then we're just gonna add this, um, Ninjago Prime Empire Lloyd head to give him a full mask. And also add that white stuff on his mask. I think that's a good shout out with this mask. That's actually it. He doesn't have an accessory. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Yeah, basically, Norman Osborn, when, when Peter's parents died, instead of going to Uncle Ben and Aunt May, they actually went to Norman Osborn. So, Norman Osborn was giving a tour to Peter and got bit by the spider. So, in this universe, the Spider-Man came out way earlier, and, and Peter isn't Spider-Man, it's Norman Osborn, because he was giving a tour to Peter. And, af and after his friend died, because... Norm to be good. He, yeah. Pretty self explanatory after that. Yeah. So that's basically it for this custom. Next up is Ghost Rider as Spider Man. Now we're going to start off with some dual molded black and red and blue legs with a red hip piece. We're going to use the Carnage torso with the spy with these with some Spider-Man printed arms with some blue, dark gray hands. Then we're going to add these handcuff pieces. One to give him like some big web shooters. He has like big ones, and the webs are also fire in this universe. Then we're just going to use the um second ghost rider head you can really use anyone i just this is just the only one i have so i thought so i'm kind of have to use this one okay and yeah basically ghost rider he got bit by the spider when he was in human form thus giving him the spider abilities and altering his form peter park this is in fact peter parker and he can and i do not have a head for one, he's not in human form because the suit comes with his ghost form. So that's why I used a carnage head, but it was like f spider and alteration that wasn't natural. So that's why he looks like this. So he's basically the, sp the spider rider. Yeah. Oh, and that, and Norman was a spider goblin. Next up, we've got Nick Fury. I think this is a cool idea. I hope that it becomes a what if, actually. So first up, we're gonna start with the black, where the, the black and red Spider-Man No Way Home and, yeah, those legs. And we're gonna use this Miles Morales to give him like the jacket and to show that he's not any Spider-Man, he's black and blue, black and, black and red. Then we're gonna give, then we're gonna use the actual Nick Fury, a Nick, any Nick Fury headpiece, and also add the red ninja mask on him to like cover his identity. He just goes by Spider, by the Spider. He doesn't go, he's just the Spider. Then we're actually gonna give him a gun, but in this universe, this gun, it, in fact, shoots his webs so he doesn't have web shooters he has a gun that shoots webs 
and use like grappling hooks to get around the city and he sh sticks people with his web gun yeah so we like is a super spy that also runs shield secretly yeah that's basically it for him yeah um not really much next we're actually gonna use daredevil so we're gonna start off with the ninjago movie kai legs and then we're also going to add the same minifigure from the Nick Fury for the legs, but with red arms and black leg and black hands. Then we're gonna use a Spider-Man head with the, with Black Panther ears for to like represent the horns. And for his weapons, we're actually just gonna give him these two piece these pieces. For his, like batons because you know i see the reason for this is because i like to imagine i would like to imagine that these big studs are web shooters so he also just like nick fury actually shoots webs from a weapon so he like sticks people brings them to him and like um hits them yeah, basically, in this universe, it kind of started out the same for Matt Murdock. Matt Murdock is Spider-Man. Um, he's the Spider-Devil. And basically, the fluid that got in his eyes also had a the radioactive spider that got out of the lab entirely. It got mixed in there, and that bit him at the exact same time as the fluids. So not only, they're not just giving him the spider powers, but also giving him the daredevil powers, so he's like, one in one combo. That's basically it for him. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, we have Captain America Spider. Who is Peter Parker? He is Peter Parker. We have two out of three out of five that are Peter Parker. So, we're going to start off with the... Homecoming suit legs. And then we're going to add the same minifigure, but flipped over. Oh, yeah, and for the Daredevil, that suit is also flipped over. But this is basically flipped over. So that's the real side. This is the back side. With just plain blue arms and red hands on each side. And then for the head. And then for the head, we're going to use Shung Chi's because he's Peter Parker. Yeah, um, ah, okay, I need to wait. And then we're just gonna use this Captain America head for the, um, mask. And then for an accessory, we're just gonna use this torso piece for the mech spider. I think it's in the same battle pack as the Doc Ock mech. So just attach that any hand you want and then you basically have Captain America Spider-Man so basically Peter Parker in this universe is actually a re relative of Steve Rogers Steve Rogers died in the world to Red S Skull right after Bucky killed him right after oh oh no yeah so um basically Bucky is the one who killed Red Skull after Red Skull killed Steve BC Peggy be pregnant at this time and then, and like, you know, go forward. Aunt May is the one that's the blood relative, the Parker, to Steve. Aunt May, not Uncle Ben, Aunt May. Who, and so after hearing that he's a relative of Captain America, he decides to do, come, Captain Spider. Yeah, just like a ripoff Captain America that's spider powers. So it's like the nowadays Captain America. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Sorry that the fact that I'm filming on a bed. That's because we're moving and I don't exactly have a desk. So for the next couple months at this setup, because I have different houses, um, we're basically just going to be filming on my bed. That's why it's kind of a crappy video. So I'm very sorry about that. If you want me to just do shorts, I'll be filming on on a table. But I'm um, comment and speaking of shorts, go watch my um, 12 day series that just ended today. 
making his second DCCMF series. And goodbye.